all right youtube this is your boy the virus system and here we are here to do the chiri chiri chara chara again and today we'll be learning how to build an android um app and this android app is um smart school android app which i just um had it some few days back and then um i'll be taking you through how to build this android app building smart school android app is very straightforward i i just like it. it's easy way way easy to go with the only thing you need to have is what an android um studio to build this particular app so let's have a look at the package what it comes with when you purchase um android school um um app for um smart school management system so let's open um the folder i have here and then um i have smart school here and this is the whole package of smart school it comes with documentation comes with license it comes with a sample app that has been built by um smart school and then we also have um the source code itself here and then we have the api connection files here to as well so this api files must be uploaded onto your server where you have installed what smart school then a little configuration will be done after building the app we'll jump into my c panel so that i'll show you how to do that configuration on my c panel so your app can connect to your database and then retrieve students information from the database so this is the app that we are going to be building today and everything about this app is chiri chiri chara chara now let's go back i have two files i kept in documentation and then um here is the first file now this is the sample um smart school app that comes with um um smart school um under um the android version uh, this the screenshot of what um smart school android app that is included so when we go back to um one step backwards we have a sample app so this is a sample app so when you install it this is the interface that you are going to see this is the interface that you are going to see but i've customized my interface by building the app myself and changing the logo and the background colors and other things to suit what i want so i'm going to take you through how to do those things before we jump into building our app in android school uh, sorry with um android studio so let's go to um, um one step backwards then we open them um, our small school android app source folder then we come to um app then from app we come to source then from source we come to main and then from main we come to rest and then from rest folder we come to um drawable now drawable is the folder that contains all the icons and the images that links to smart school um app that you are seeing so um the first is um my app icon which is here so what icon do i want to replace with what my app icon so i'm going to look for an icon and replace with this app icon so when you have the app on your phone what icon do you want to see so this is the icon that is going to be displayed the app icon so i'm going to um pick an icon on my machine so let's go chiri chiri chara chara the virus systems here so um i'll copy one of this um copy then I'll go one step backwards and then I'll paste it here. So what I need to do is that I only pick the name of this, which is an um, app icon and delete this away and then rename my two app icon. So I've solved that. So now if I installed um, after building this application, if I install it on my um, phone, I will be seeing this icon on my phone as my um app icon now when we go down we have other few icons that we'll be looking at we have um the logo small we have notification and then we have um notification logo to as well so we also need to uh, replace this and also replace this to as well so i'll be replacing this to as well so let's go and look for my logo again sorry one step forward and then i'll come to images then logo and then i have my logo here so i'll just right click copy my logo one step backwards and then i'll roll down and paste it here so i will pick the name here 
um, let's close this I'll pick the name here and then delete this icon away and then replace it with mine so I have it here now the next thing we are going to be doing is this icon so I have um hundred by hundred icon here which is um the virus system here hundred by hundred icon what I'll be using one step backwards then I'll paste it here as well so I'll pick um logo small and then I'll replace it with this, this. before I have to delete um this away have to delete this away and then rename it up small and then um, Fabicon I'm looking for Fabicon I have Fabicon here Fabicon I have Fabicon somewhere um, Fabicon 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 okay icon let's see icon okay i don't have any so um let me use the same hundred by hundred for now um so i have um here copy then i'll pick my notification uh, okay let me see on my desktop i should have an icon a fabicon icon for myself fabicon 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 um icon 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 okay i don't have so let's maintain that so let's maintain that let's maintain that and then we work with that so i'll pick this and then copy and then i'll replace it with this name but before that let me delete this away um, delete this away yes delete and then rename this as my then copy again copy here copy you right click and drag and then automatically release it then you click on copy so um i have it here again so delete this away and then rename this to as one now the next thing we need to be looking at is our login background our login background is um this background so you need to get um, the same image of this size and then replace it with so for now I'll not like to do so much work in Photoshop so we just keep it lay low with this background but meanwhile icons and everything is changed so we can start building our app so but the next thing we need to look at is um our app name our app name so let's come back to um main then from main uh, we go to um res then we come to values under values let's open this shrinks.xml with a text editor um i'm using subline text editor so that is what i'll be sticking with so uh i'll be using the same editor to as well so i'll pick this and then put it here and i'm going to change my app name so the app name is going to be um the virus systems not um smart school the virus systems and then i'm done so now i can start building my app so i'll close all these and then i'll go back to android studio i'll come to open an existing android um studio project and then i'll navigate down to um my um hp folder then i'll come to my videos folder then on my videos folder i have a folder they call upload that contains um my application so it's still loading it's still loading let's give it some few seconds to load all right so it has opened then let's look for the upload folder I have a folder there called upload 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 folder upload folder is here then we have um android smart school here then we have our android smart school um sorry smart school android app here so we select that folder and then we click on OK. Now this is going to load our application inside what Android Studio. And then it's saying that um, our path doesn't exist and so forth and so on. So we say okay, don't worry, create a new path for it. It's cool to go with. So it's opening. Let's give it some few seconds.
all right so it is now trying to sync our android app and then we start building our app for smart school management system so let's give you some few seconds to do that all right so our application has finished syncing and then now we are ready to build our application but our application saying that we have to um update certain things um remind me tomorrow so that um i will do that on but for now we are building our android app so now at this point we can build our app because everything is sync we have no errors you can see there are net errors running here and there and so forth and so on so now we can start building our app and then we are ready to go so everything seems fine and everything seems good so he here we do the chiri chiri chara chara so we go to build then we'll come to um build bundle app and we'll come to build app here so we give me some few seconds to run my machine is very slow so it has started um running the build function in um, our system so let's give you some few seconds when it is done um, then we finalize our video from there all right so our app is done building and then here we have app generated successfully and a model app we can locate it here so i'll click on um, locate app and then it will open the folder that the app is being built into and we can copy onto our phone and then we we'll start installing smart school android app on our phone and connecting it to our api on our hosting so now the next thing we'll be looking at is how to set up our api so that our app can connect to the api to pull the data or to pull each student data from the database for each student that uses the app to log in so let's switch to my c panel to do that right away so stay tuned with the virus system till i switch to my c panel all right so here we are in my subdomain where we have installed smart school management system i've installed it inside a subdomain called school.thevirussystems.com and then i have um, installed smart school there and i've created a folder called api and that's where i have installed the android api file so if i open that i have the android hpi files here that you are seeing so you can still see the upload file here which i've extracted and this is the content so now what we need to do is that we need to configure the base url for this um api and the database to access um by this api application so we open the application folder then we'll come to config then under config we open our config file then we'll click on it we'll come to edit and then we we'll hit on the edit button and what we're going to configure here is our base url and our base url my is i have um school.thevirussystem.com slash api because that is a folder that is holding um the api connection files so if your folder name is not called api please kindly make sure that the last full name here maps with your folder name so let's assume your folder name was um um ipa or whatever it is or it's um pai make sure that this file name goes with the name of that folder don't forget it's very very important so i have my base url as some um, att docs um yeah https um school.thevirussystem slash api so that is my base url so that is done and after that i come to configure the database so i hit on database then click on edit and i hit on the edit button again and then here i'm supposed to enter my database details my database details so these are my database details and my server so now my system is connected with my database so now anytime somebody is logging from the app the app will be able to access my database and pull the data for that particular student who is accessing the database so that is all you need to do with smart school um, uh, management system app and then you are done
for the day so stay tuned with the virus system and if you like my tutorial please subscribe to my channel give me a thumb up follow us on um facebook and don't forget to visit our site for more interesting things that you need to learn so stay tuned with the virus system till our next tutorial that comes on your way